evil ass and evil clown and then a ninja came in and killed that clown and took the question that Joel had asked him and now the ninja's gonna answer that question which was can a ninja see his own reflection in a mirror why would you ask that of an evil clown why didn't you come to the source to begin with that was just foolish of you the ninja that invented mirrors was a guy named Saki right in the teeth he usually shortened it to Socrates though before that everybody just uh would look into very still water to see what they look like a lot of people ended up dying thinking they looked like a crocodile you know and they'd be like hey that's what I look like chomp and then death row of course anyway Saki right in the teeth his big thing was the unexamined life is not worth killing for that's why ninjas invented mirrors was just so that we could reflect on life mirrors are pretty darn handy for the ninja because they, they use them for a lot good for blinding things you know with the, with the sunlight and I think I saw that in a chips episode the thing is with the reflection the ninjas have been working with reflection for so long that we are masters of reflection we can see ourselves in the mirror and the mirror can't even see us that's pretty darn fast vampires they can't be seen in mirrors because they're enchanted undead and stupid ninjas can't be seen in mirrors because we're just so dang quick they can break a mirror and then jump out of the way so that the seven years of bad luck hit somebody else that mirror in snow white that was actually just a ninja who had like braced himself into the mirror and was working a little oversized puppet yeah guy was running the whole show nobody knew what was going on ninjas are tremendous masters of all the mirrors the thing you got to worry about are the other errors out there because there are other errors a dearer which is a mirror that just starts writing a letter to you as soon as you start looking into it and it's a never-ending letter just a long letter about how much it loves you how about a fearer that's where all your fears are all reflected in the mirror pretty scary i mean it's you swimming naked with man of war jellyfish and it's you getting your head bit off by a wolf and then it's you facing a refrigerator with little post-its with everybody's actual opinions about you written on it then there's the leerer and that doesn't say anything it just looks at you real creepy like Hey! Am I really that handsome man? I am a good looking guy. Sometimes I forget when I haven't looked in the mirror in a while that I, man, I am a good looking guy. If looks could kill, huh? Hold the shirkin, flirkin. I am way better looking than you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Drop the ego, amigo. You are just a reflection. No, you're the reflection. No, I am not. I'm the real ninja. No, I'm the real ninja. Really? I absolutely am. You're just a reflection of a ninja. Stop saying that! You stop that! You're a reflection and you're not even the reflection of a ninja. Now you're just being childish. Whoa. <laughs> not bad. Actually, that's not too bad. Pretty cute. How are you doing? I will come through this looking glass and take you down the rabbit hole, my friend. Hey, don't get angry. That is it. You asked for it. Hey, hey don't. No. Yo. Woo. Mirrors, huh? You never see them coming. Thanks for the question, Joel. You look forward to looking at yourself soon. Hiya! You got a peerer? When you look into a peerer, it's all of your friends looking back. It's all the people who are in your peer group. It's a little upsetting because you just want to check your hair. And then your friend is right there going to... There's also the peer to peerer, but the music industry wants to outlaw that completely. 